Doing? Good morning, Mr. Kelly. And, you, are, uh, you are looking handsome as usual. Thank you, thank you. Full of energy, cash flow <laughs> on your forehead. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good by the grace of God. You are you are one person who inspires a lot of people, especially young people, who give them reasons why they should never think broke. And the reason why you're on a trauma uh, panel is because um, lack of money or lack of what 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 financial management has caused certain breadwinners to be pockets ridiculed and trampled upon as if they are nobody because it's, it's either they once had it and they blew it up or they've never had it and they're wondering how to have it. How is your work going? Well, once again, good morning, good morning. and uh, I am yeah, happy to make new friends today. <laughs> I like that part. Because, yeah. uh, that's uh, my daily activity. Right. Uh, like I said, before I even respond, mm -hmm. I always tell people that if you are not making new friends on daily basis, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to remain broke. Uh, so, human beings are money. You that should... is it. You cannot make money without... How are you going to make if you have a product or services mm -hmm. without human beings? How are, they how are you going to make money? So, every so human being on a daily basis, if you are not making new friends, you are going to remain broke. If, uh, if you don't make new friends, how would you, who are you going to produce well, as a music it means uh, you don't You don't need money to make money. You need people, you need to I, make people money. ideas. Hmm. If you don't have ideas, if you don't have, you have the ideas, you need people. Hmm. Then you, the ideas will bring you money. So what pushes people into financial trauma? Okay, so so like like you said, uh, well, um, my name is Dovi Senyo. Exactly. So exactly. I'm I'm a, I'm a security person. I do a lot of security work. I'm an aviation person, a flight engineer by profession. Hey, this guy repairs aeroplanes. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, so he does it. He's not a mechanic on on the roadside. <laughs> <laughs> so he determines how far we fly. <laughs> And then people ask why always talk about money, talk mm. about this. Yeah, and you're so passionate uh, about it. That's yes. if you don't have anything else. To do. Uh, yes, people don't even know that. Uh, yeah, you are anything else. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I want to always ask people if you feel okay to talk about your problem, to talk about uh, things that are happening around you that doesn't concern you. If you feel that you are going to be talking about issues of people's marriages on uh, Facebook or social media. What prevents you from talking about money, talking about your own financial problems? Okay. So I decided that what I saw in the past from my own family, my father struggled so well. Everybody had good intentions, but good intentions don't pay bills. Hey. Mm -hmm. Madam says, uh, you have to, to drop bags. <laughs> 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 Madam says you have to talk to professionals and other people when you are psychologically or emotionally disturbed or trauma psychologically if you want to meet people professionals you need to pay them money not all of they can give you help one two three times by the fourth or the fifth or the second time you need to pay them something it's that's what yeah. so i always love to talk about money my dad had good intentions but those good intentions couldn't send me to school so you can have a good heart and still be broke. You, you, a you, good heart and a broke pocket. A broke pocket. We have a lot of right. people like that. Yeah. When they're advertising, they say a hole in heart in Kolebu. Hmm. Everybody that watches the news or hear the news feel certain, uh, have certain emotions. Hmm. But you cannot hmm. call the whole doctor and say, oh, I am in uh, uh, Agboba. I just heard the news. I, I feel so sad for the guy. Can you go ahead with the... Operations. <laughs> Without money. It's not possible. So that is why, like Dovi said, whatever you do, find a way to create an extra income. Even if you are working, you don't know what happens. We were here when coronavirus came. A lot of people, up to now, through coronavirus, people never get a job. So imagine that you had something aside, whatever you are doing, and there is a break. Or something just happened which you cannot control there are certain things in life no one can control it so this trauma we are talking about psychologically emotionally see 99 percent of our problems can be solved by money 99 99.999 percent if you have 
uh, problems in your family or in your house with your, your wife and your children yes people have money they still have psychological issues but I'm, that's what i'm saying 99.99 okay. percent so money uh, must be talked about mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we must find ways to legitimately make money Define on delivery just get money to the equation that's and, is it and, and you'll be fine if you are a youth you are a person you are a man you have families you have god bless you with good friends like we are here lovely people around you every day on daily basis just ask yourself what should i do today to make money that's the only thing you should be thinking about god loves you you love god you are a loving christian you are a loving muslim you you believe whatever faith you have mm -hmm. you have life you have air to breathe the next thing you, should, you shouldn't be thinking about what's happening around you just the things that are happening around you look at it from the perspective of which way can i take advantage of this environment or these things that are happening to to create a cash flow you see you talk like as if you are insulting me or like <laughs> <laughs> the guy just needs annoying and he, he talks unapologetically like if you like take this advice the truth like, is uh, the uh, truth yeah, moving like, on like it's, it's the truth. you are a christian right <laughs> jesus <laughs> came and jesus didn't uh, hey, hesitate to, to, to say I, do you, I train a lot, so I train for uh, self defense. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, I see people with a pure heart. How can they make money without you giving them that money directly? Okay. Cash. So you said people are working hard mm -hmm. and they are still broke. They are not lazy, but they are still broke. Business must go with direction. You can be busy, busy running around the, the field. Mm. If you are if you are busy running from your opponent's pole with the ball to your own goalpost, right. you will score an ongo. Yeah. So <laughs> probably you are okay. doing certain things, busy with certain things, which are not leading you or you which are taking you to the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Which field? What kind of business are you doing? A product you have been selling, services you have been selling. What problem are you solving? Like I always say at my seminars or my talks or one on one shit, you don't go to a construction site to go and set up a boutique. Nah. <laughs> you understand the point? We are closed. We are closed. The, the thing is, uh, the thing is that I love to talk. These these are things I say every day. We talk. We discuss every day. I also talk for a living, but you come to see what I No, no, really. Yeah, you know, you 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 are. Like I always call you the love doctor. So if I need something in terms of love, uh -huh. my, and yeah, I will no come to, to you. <laughs> my, now I have new friends. If I have uh -huh. a music business, yeah, I have to, issues, uh, trauma, is psychological issue. I know where to go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. And then now, when I come to your space, mm -hmm. you talk love. Mm -hmm. How do we monetize your mm -hmm. ideas mm -hmm. of talking love, repairing mm -hmm. people's relationship mm -hmm. and stuff? I'm, there a, must I'm be, a mechanic power. Yes, you, you are a proper <laughs> mechanic. The love mechanic. So we need to find a way. That's the the gift God give you. Yeah. Wait, you just gave me a title now, love mechanic. Yeah, the love, the love yeah. mechanic. Hey, I, I owe you royalties. You yeah, understand? So how would the love? In fact, that's what I'm going to be calling my Facebook live right now. Yeah. Yes. Now you know I've been on. So now yes. love mechanic. Love mechanic. Challenge, challenge, challenge. I always call you. I mean, maybe you don't pay attention. You need people for ideas. Ideas. Hey. Yes. Oh, my, 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 my God. Has just dropped. <laughs> so, basi to basically, us. I always tell my friends that, okay, like, I, again, let me say, in those days, people were doing space-to-space -space businesses and all those things. But today, you can't go and put money in space-to-space. -space. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, most mm -hmm. of us, uh, let's say the youth, the, the, the men, like people, women, everybody, in relationship, whatever it is, we don't focus on the need. There are, we have needs and then we have wants. Right, right. People want to do the wants before they need. Yeah, yeah. But I have to be that way. So a person who makes avidly 10,000 CDs. Yeah. No, 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 you are going too high. Uh, Bring it down. 2,000. Oh, 2,000. People earn 2,000. Yes, I, I, people I, I, even I, I, earn less 200. than that. People are earning five hundred and uh, like seven hundred and a day. No, a monthly, month. thirty days. At the end of the month, they have four kids. Thirty days, they make the thirty days. 
like before Ghana sports and they were coping with that amount on this Ghana. See, Mr. Kelly, uh, uh, let me let me know let me know let me know, let me know, let me know hijack the, the shoes. No, please hijack uh, <laughs> because we all need no, money. No, 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 because uh, you just made a word before Ghana became hard. Yes, I always say and I always tell people since you were born, I ask this question. Nothing have you cheap. have you seen a good economy before? Hmm. That in that regime, they, we say that this 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 economy is very good. Hmm. Until that regime is no more, that is the only time yeah, we say see that. that. Ah, those days when it were, were better. Were, were so oh, Jerry was good. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but when Jerry good. was there, we said Jerry was no, good. In fact, we brought Kufo. We him of me. Exactly, Kufo came and they said Kufo is not good at all. At Meanwhile. All. When he he left the scene, he said Kufo was better than Atamis. Atamis came, came unfortunately made so recipe. He, uh -huh. he said, Oh too slow. He said, he hasn't when he that. was no more we replaced him with Mahama, we said, Ah, God, why did why, you take this man you away? Hey. Then then we said change. Now they change we've we've, we've experienced we've when we, we are, now they say Mahama is, is better than. So you wait. <laughs> now now we finish. <laughs> And whoever comes, uh, whoever, whoever comes you will be there. The and we song. say, ah, we wish Granana was here. So they ha I mean, I've never seen, my mother said, there is no good economy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is how you manage your own personal economy. Mm -hmm. Taking that to music, mm -hmm. um, there are many people, how do we help, how do we escape trauma from childhood financially? How do we help children grow into the understanding of finances so they don't have traumatic issues when they grow up as adults because one of the things that happens to adults when they grow up is that they don't they can't meet up anymore mm -hmm. with certain needs and responsibilities and and the pace of their equals sure. <laughs> and the shame mm -hmm. the the lack of confidence the, the they don't even go out to like alumni issues uh, mm -hmm. because they know they know they don't measure up yeah. and they've seen two or three colleagues of theirs and uh Compared to them, they have issues. From childhood, how do we build people's intelligence for money management to avoid these traumatic situations eventually? Okay. So, let me ask you a question. When you were young, mm. have you heard your parents talk about money ever to you ever. before? I don't even know how much. How, how many of us heard uh, our parents, or even in school? Mm. I don't blame them. You can't teach what you don't know. You can't give what you don't have. Mm. So the people listening to me, people who will chance on whatever mm. this audio videos right, and right. watch, the only way you can do that, uh, child, is learn now by yourself, and then you can talk about it, yeah. and then you can teach somebody. Now what we do is that we think that oh, when you grow, you will know this. No, mm. it takes time. The things as a footballer as a musician as a producer uh, elsewhere now you go to social media you see as little as two three years kids somewhere some jurisdiction they are teaching them mechanics they are teaching them computing they are coding right, right. they are doing this and the same way i found videos where in some jurisdiction kids were presenting on business ethics money management mm, yeah. like five years ten years so before a child can get that what do you talk to your child in, in the house every day? Is it always about the dancing competitions we see on the TV? It's not uh, bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, but but, but we shouldn't sideline. We, we have to balance it. Financial empowerment. Yes. You should know. You should let your kids know that when you have two. Or it's not only about money. If I give you one thing in the house, you should be content with that. Yeah. That is what I have. And one of the causes of this trauma and blah 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 we are talking is because we compare ourselves too much. Because your friend is living in Jowlo, you should want to also go and rent in Abilengbe or uh, East Legon. Be content with what you have. You know your your income. You know your cash flow. You know how much you get. Tet after thirty days, all the cash flow, the sources of income you have, you know the total, and you know that yes. Yeah. And you know that I cannot afford a cloth that is costing maybe mm -hmm. thousand CD. Mm -hmm. You're going to buy a suit of thousand CD to just to attend a, a wedding. You know where you are nobody. You, you are nobody. Cry. <laughs> you understand the point. So if you know, if you don't know the right way of doing things, you cannot teach your, your kids. 
So I give you give your you sometimes you have the things even in the house, maybe toffees and other stuff. But it is not every day that they have to have access to, access to it. Yeah. I give you today, it's even there exposed to you, but I tell you that this is not for you at this particular point in time. It cut across. If I am growing and the kids are getting to maybe secondary school, I said I'm giving you two hundred CD. Manage this. Take this every day, and this is going to cover this number of days. That's financial management. Ed management. Mm -hmm. And then we, as adults, as parents, we need to embrace financial education. We pray for God to give us uh, money, which God doesn't give money. God can only give you ideas. Say that again. Say that again. God cannot God give you physical give money. You money can give you ideas, idea. opportunities. Okay. So when the opportunities come around, you should be fast enough, open, be open-minded to grab these opportunities that you can create or you can make money out of it. Mm -hmm. And when the money is coming, you should, you, you can't make money and if you do, you, and you don't have financial education. Yeah. That's our problem. Mm -hmm. Somebody is, like the 10,000 you mentioned, somebody is earning 10,000 CD in this harsh economy, but he's still complaining. Yeah. <laughs> 10,000 CD. Oh, but how, what can 10,000 do in this economy anyway? A lot. If you know my, your income is 10,000, you should live by that. Mm. Based on, you, 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 because somebody is earning 25,000 and is eating breakfast at, uh, uh, you can mention, peak. moving peak. <laughs> you have 10,000, you, so you to, because it's, you want to compete or compare, you also want to go and eat breakfast there. You lack financial uh, uh, brains. <laughs> you understand the point? You need to develop it. Yes, go back. Just close to your skin. Ah. Ah. And even that one is more nutritional. <laughs> you, you understand the point? And sometimes, though you have the money, yeah. right. it's also good to take a step back to create or to build more cash flow. Mm -hmm. It is not always uh, because you have 10,000 coming or 25,000, you need to go out. You need to yeah. change your kids' school fees. Some of the people, the mistake we make is that as long as they, they increase our salary, we want to change our living uh, environment. Yeah. You are going to rent. You are living in a, a chamber hall or maybe a single room safe container mm -hmm. or apartment. Nice one. You are not married. You don't have a child. Instead of you to be thinking about increasing your cash flow in the next five years or yeah. two years before you get married, you are changing your apartment to a uh, two-bedroom house. Yeah. Who is going to live in that one? You understand the point. And, and the condition is high class. Like high yes. class. Who are you inviting to your house to come and be watching those things? And after they watched it, what happens? What happens? Happen. Would they pay you? So we people live to impress. Instead of living for a, to build a future, I refuse to live to impress. The people you even impress all over, some don't even know that you exist though. Some are not even thinking about it. They don't care. If some of them are okay. sleeping where, whilst you are here, <laughs> so they don't care. They don't so you know. you came out of your house thinking that you wear a nice shoe, yeah. a yeah. big yeah. clothes, yeah. a big suit, thinking yeah. the people they are sleeping. They have their problems thinking about. They are not thinking about your shoe. Thinking about you, your shoe. Would they would they put money in their pocket? Would they feed them? Would they buy them? Uh, go see this money. No. So live your life yes. and learn the things so that you can teach your children. There, there are people who money is not a problem. Because your some of these people have enough backup. I have yeah. no idea. Do you have, some of them are living 10% of their income. Mm -hmm. but, but you, you go and use your 100% to catch up with your 10%. And then, yeah, so, yeah, 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 this, yeah, is where, this is where a lot of people get become thieves in the mm. office. Mm. They are earning a lot of money, yes, right. but they are not satisfied. Mm -hmm. And, this and they is, keep adding zeros. This is Killing them. This, this, this is actually traumatizing them so much. But is this not why certain people don't live, don't, 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 um, don't want to live power? That's the, that's no, so, where I'm going. No, they so, are rich. Money is not a problem. No, no, so, but they want to keep living a certain so life. Dr. Kalishi, so there are ripple effects to our actions. Yeah. That is why when you are. I, lo I love the word. No, but it's more a psychological issue. Uh, more they sent it to him. You, to see, go you, outside. you see, when things happen like this. Yeah. We, we want to solve the problem Problems. without thinking about the cost. Yeah. Mm. You married seven years. Correct marriage. And then after seven years, the man ran away. You were earning more than the man. Before you married, what was the man doing? Mm -hmm. Along the line, did he lose his job? Did the business collapse? 
when you were earning more than the man did you sit with the man to find out okay men like we are mm -hmm. we are full of ego naturally yes mm -hmm. it's a, it's a so we important. always want to lead yeah. in every aspect so you have to sit did you sit down with the man and say okay bro uh, my husband you've been working now your job is not good uh, you are you don't have a job can we set can we, you said you are you, she said she she was earning than the, the no, good yeah. can we sit down can we set you up can we come together i can raise some money save some money for maybe some two months three months four months what do you want to do no man will want to be in the house for the next five years for that because you are earning more than the man no let him also do something you come uh, together way to, they so, are men, they are no wait that, men. i'm coming uh -huh. so did you do that so when the man when, when you really do this and the man say no it should it's a it's a fly it's a red, red flag, flag. Yeah. you understand my point yeah. then you should start knowing that ah, why is it that you don't want to work yeah. some of the ladies jump into marriage just yeah. because they want, they want to marry, to marry. Oh, so from the beginning so from the beginning even for you know she even sponsored the marriage yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, that's why I'm asking that the that source that, of the problem yeah. must be known. Man. I always say that when you're dating somebody, okay, that you should look out for things and things present themselves. But to, we are, to, we are, the person we, to we know is that, yes, yeah. it's not, it's so not that. that. Yeah. 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 We, we, we we to talk. Okay, before, okay. I'm, for, for, for now, I'm focusing on the happy after seven years of marriage. You don't care how my happy marriage was. But what can make a man steal his wife's money, disappear, only to message her from somewhere, from somewhere to say, when I get the money, I'll refund. But for now, I Is have, it refunding have, with interest? I have, I have, no. How do we even know? You are not even sure. But he has gone. What is that? Financially. And how, how can it's, such uh, a woman recover? So that man, the, word, the only one where I can use, that man is wicked. Mm. Yeah. And for the woman to recover, because we've all talked about how she can recover emotionally, but financially, yes. mm -hmm. she's gone. Financially, you don't know how she can ever recover. Financially, everything you lost can be gotten as long as you are alive. Mm -hmm. First, you thank God for your life. Right. Now, you have to sit and tell yourself that I can only control the things that I, I can. Mm -hmm. Here, you can't control it, it's gone. So you have to practice mindfulness. Mm -hmm. You have to relax. And this is the time, if you are a Christian or whatever you be, you, you have to pray about your situations often, consistently. Mm -hmm. But don't just pray and sit down. Wait. Get to work. What are you doing now? What do you do now that brings you money? If you, you are looking for ways to increase your cash flow, you have to read about the current trend, the things around you, wherever city you live. You talk to professionals, whether psychological, emotional, financially, mm -hmm. that what you have now, you have to readjust your budget. I have mm -hmm. people who teach me how to budget the little I have. Mm -hmm. I have people who show me, who just look at trends, knowing that this current trend, mm -hmm. this is where money is going. This is the, the future of this trend is good. Mm -hmm. This is what we lack. So you just don't jump. People call me and say, hey, they, you say you talk too much about money. Teach us, show us the way. Show. No. Like you said, if you don't have sound mind, are you even ready to learn? Mm. Are you teachable? Are you coachable? Are you trainable? If you don't have these qualities, you can't make money. Yeah. All right. The next question says, hmm, um, what do you put as a particular Please. issue yeah. from the business perspective or money making perspective? I know pastors that I've learned from them, like I've been. One person is uh, Archbishop Duncan Williams. All right. Uh, I've been to his business, like uh, non ministry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, when I when I'm following you, I know what I want. You are here. Yeah, it's, it's not prayer, prayer. Mm -hmm. I it's pray. Teachings on business I, and stuff. I go there, uh, B uh, Bishop Titi of Fair. All yeah. this mm -hmm. from the business perspective, I probably he did something wrong. Mm -hmm. But you should know in business that. I've learned something that some don't stay. Yeah. You cannot mm. keep everybody. Mm. Mm. So anything I do with people, I make room for disappointment. Yeah. 
but people go into business or the church you have to run it as business family must be run as, as business. business everything yeah. must be so make room for the disappointment because you cannot control everything yeah. some don't stay if you have these fundamentals and you, you know you are aware when you are doing things you do it chronologically yeah. you understand the point yeah. so you have to we have to start learning he can come back he, he, see i always tell people where i stay if any time i'm going to work yeah. my job my social responsibility is that i drive empty car so i give people lift every day i will not mention the route on on air though <laughs> <laughs> Every, and i've been doing that for some almost years now yeah. and i take get database of everybody i, I give lift mm. because if you drive the empty car you still pay you see you the same, same four. Four. you understand i do the same thing i have friends who say they will never give people lift again i say why i say well, somebody stole something from my car i so i knew that some people will be part yeah. but I'll still give leave. So if I if I am going to work, I pack everything in my car into the book. Mm -hmm. You understand the point? So make room for, for disappointment yeah. in everything you do. That, that, that's a strong. You get it, right. Um, right? Otherwise, you will never do good as a person, a Christian, exactly. Muslim again. Exactly. Any time my wife do good to people or any other people he she come back complaining that you see that i've is, wasted so much time on this guy and the guy just left he give even she even gave room to somebody to stay in a house for free no rent no electricity the people go back and then the is, any okay this person oh, yeah. says i have attended like 12 um business meetings mm. this year yeah okay that's what congr congratulations <laughs> That's okay, a okay. that's a great achievement. Yeah, yeah. I have attended like twelve business meetings. The, the question has just come for you. The on the seminar. The seminar yeah. thing. You see, a, a lot of people say, "Oh, this thing we've heard it uh, Oh, this thing we've attended meetings are uh, the purpose behind you attending a summit, mm. whether business or not. Your motive. They are sometimes. I have some time back. I have my motive for attending each and every seminar, business wise. Mm -hmm. I even attended marriage seminars <laughs> that I'm not going there to listen to what we are. Mm -hmm. I run my marriage the way I want it. It's working for me. I go there with my motive to meet the speakers. Mm -hmm. So if you, are, you want to start a business, you say you're making money, good. And some seminars you can attend, attend, attend. You are buying experience, you are building a network. One seminar. So that is actually that capital. Is, the yes. capital. So he he is missing the point the that point because that he's not seeing physical money. cash, yeah. he's not making gain. No, you are making a mistake. Have an open mind. Empty the cup. Yeah. When you go for an event like mine or some places mm -hmm. I go, the day I met you the first time, right. because I knew this is a gentleman coming, I made room for that program, right. and we became friends mm -hmm. because the people who invited me, I know them. Right. I go to, I attend people's wedding that have never been invited. But I knew this guy would come to that yeah. that wedding. Mm -hmm. So the motive behind what you do, yeah. your the the capital is All in right, the network. Let me read this song because one of us has to go uh, as a matter of emergency. Uh, family, this is the reason why some of us, when we travel, we don't come back or we don't even look at people. We just help them from afar. Please let them not let them not sound as if this money issue is a one way thing. I brought my money to raise my family and now family members have taken away my money and my business. I almost do not have a say in the business now. Please. Sure. So I always go back to the cause of the problem. You, you have a business that you, you started yourself and then you involve people. Don't you have documents? Yeah. What's on the document of but your nothing business? Nothing legal. Nothing legal. How then you nobody can come and take something that is legal for you? And if it is my business and I'm involving my brother, my sister, or my uncle, it's it's going to show on the document. Yeah, I registered a business in my name mm -hmm. before I invite you. So, uh, which way did they, uh, did, did they how are they taking it from you? You understand my unless point? Unless you don't have any document, you call them, you just brought money. Let's this this are, these are the these are the. These are the ethics. See, no matter how you trust somebody, 
if you want to do business with them, document it. Mm -hmm. Documentation beats conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can come and talk, blah, blah, blah. It's what shows? People can lie. It's people, that, that is why you need to document yes. everything you do. I started a business. So I have to, even mm -hmm. if you don't register from uh, general right. controller and yeah. other stuff, there should be personal things you should be writing. Mm -hmm. On this day, this I can even get you to sign something. Yeah. Thirty percent is for me, two percent is for you. So people said, I want to start a business. That is not enough. Mm -hmm. You should ask before I start a business. What should I do? What are factors to consider? Mm -hmm. What are the things I supposed to see? In the way you do business in the US is different from the way we do business in Ghana. Yeah. The way we do business in uh, Agbogbolushi is going to be different from Kasua. So if you feel you you want to bringing people to do business together with you. You should know that there must be legal bindings. Yes. In the future, some, somebody like you, somebody just can wake up and say, oh, this thing, you uh, you have to give me 40%, 100%. It's not, it wasn't documented like that. Yeah. But you know, so the cost, we take that for, for granted. granted. Yes, I know. Like, we don't like documentation. We don't like um, pending things down. down. You understand? But that that thing helps. The BI in Farmania, Ah, no, but you can't you can live like <laughs> no, that. You, you can't can live life like that. You understand? Family no, no, no. no. Listen, listen. Me, me. I come from a very large. Family. Search for Dovi Senyo. Yeah. Right. D O V I. Right. On LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, that's X on uh, TikTok. I'm mostly on Facebook right. and then uh, LinkedIn. Yeah. Just inbox me. You, I cannot sit here. And you say, I have 5,000 cities, 20,000 cities. Mm -hmm. Which business can I do? No. I don't, I don't give those type of uh, advice. advice. Yeah. We need to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Being online or in person, we must have a conversation. Let me know who you are, exactly. your understanding, your interest, your background. Yeah. Okay, you are uh, an engineer like myself. What do you know about business? Mm -hmm. What kind of services or products of is of interest to you what kind of problems or demands mm. do you want to meet in your community i always tell people me i want to do business first thing is the idea mm. that i is that idea in line with the demands around me i don't want to go and create any <laughs> demand uh, the demands are already there yeah. so find a demand around, and meet yeah. that is what it give you so if you do that earlier on i said what well, people don't want to do what they need to do so they want to do what they want. Mm -hmm. That is where the problem is. Exactly. So what you want to do is what you want with your money. Yeah. But that might right. not be what you need to do it, now. It will not satisfy right. the needs. As of the, the, our, the last, demand. our last question for the day, because I can't, I can't take it all. This sure. one says, I'm in debt of over 2 million CDs. Um, even my thing doesn't stand. And my wife is getting traumatized. So this one, I need the, the specialist the specialist finance specialist and this the health specialist because i'm not having sex my wife is suffering i can't help her and also my 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 debtors are I'm also falling mm -hmm. it's by the grace of god i'm not behind bars before the uh, psychology is coming I, in, no, you go first. <laughs> I have a saying i always tell people yeah. if you don't have money or brokenness or being poor can cause erectile dysfunction. Yes. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Now he's, he's saying that's it, that's yeah. it. he confirmed it actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. Yes. Your theory works. So he confirmed <laughs> it because I always say. Right now his erection is not. It's it not erecting. Crap. Because it's three, not. three million. Personally, See. in the past, yes, when I when I got married, not that I was having money, but I have certain targets to meet financially before I start making babies. Mm -hmm. To the standard. Personal experience, hmm, I can be you with. Making babies, yes, yes. Understanding. yes. The that marriage is, is there. Before you think about making babies, that one don't joke with it. Mm, you need to plan. There, there were times I could be with my wife and equally lose my relation. Yeah. Right. So this is is it's is normal. something you can solve yeah. because the brain need to control the body. Yeah. So when my brain was, I'm not. Uh, in that right frame of, of romance, because there is no romance without finance. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Money, so money, my brother. Money, money, money. money war, do yes. Yeah. 
when you have money and you you are you are not comfortable at home that is where you can say let's go to royal century yeah mm -hmm. for the weekend yeah. you know you go and cruise under the adami <laughs> bridge yeah, you come back, back you have yeah. one room in royal century or you go to bridge view yeah. i'm not talking about going to bahamas and things yeah. Yeah, you got, yeah, no, or invest yeah. there is a hotel in azim yeah. you just drive road drive yeah. with your wife you stop over, you buy coconuts, you talk. By the time you get to the hotel, the erection, you happen. will restore it. So yeah. you need money. Now, in debt, two million. He said he was in, he's in debt. Mm -hmm. What did you use the money for? Yeah. It was it investment? What kind of investment? Were you in the financial market or stuff? So when you have money, you want us to talk, we can have a conversation, get in touch. We can meet, sit down, talk as brothers or sisters or... Uh, people together and then I can now show you okay with your situation you are desperate yeah. you need money now yeah. so you should be ready to sacrifice yeah. sacrifice must be made you have to do away with certain uh, friendships uh -huh. entertainments you want to be there to no there are certain weddings you cannot attend now mm -hmm. because I need to grill you I need to give you assignments I need to give you things you are supposed to be doing A, B and C and if you are not even good in certain things, maybe sales or marketing and other stuff, there are things you need to do to make money on a daily basis, yeah. which are not going to be comfortable. Oh. So, are you ready? Let's have a talk. That's why when you say you have 50000 or 10000 I cannot sit and tell you that, so go and do this day. business, do yes. this. Yes. I need to know your conditions, your, your mindset. What kind of mindset or frame are you currently? Yeah. People who are desperate might do the right things for money but yeah. they are also they can do the wrong thing do are also ready to do the most the the bitterest things to mm. to make money at all costs yeah. so brother sister listening to me there's always ways to make money in this economy yeah. right. but they are not comfortable yeah. right. psychologists and uh, um, yes. health so, 